AC on. With the AC on and off, we're not getting anything. Your AC system is fully charged, there's no leaks, and yet it still doesn't work. What could be wrong? Let's get into it. Get all your auto parts at 1AAuto.com. We'll ship them to you fast and free, and we have thousands of videos to help you with your installs. So just like Andy said, system's full, which we know, but we put the headset on just to confirm, and it is fully charged. So the next thing is, Keep it simple, right? Check for AC belt. If your vehicle comes with two belts, one for just the alternator power steering and then one for AC alone, believe it or not, it can fall off and you might never know it. So go with simple things, check and make sure the belt's there, right? Yeah, definitely. This tensioner could seize up and throw that belt or it just cracks over time Yeah, because it's made of rubber. <laughs> it's not common to stare at the belts. So obviously that's the first thing. We have to make sure that the belt is there so that compressor does turn and engage. And on this vehicle, it's definitely there. So. Yep, fully charged system. Turn that AC on, and guess what? Nothing. Those clutches down there don't engage. So what would the set be, Andy? You turn the AC on, car's running? Yep, put it on max, take a look at the clutch, see if it clicks on and off, and for this vehicle, it's not clicking on and off. Nothing. You can see the belt spinning, but the clutch is just staying stable, not doing anything. Never gets engaged. Yep. So now you're like, oh, this is crazy. It's a big drop, right? You're thinking this is gonna be a lot. Well, we're gonna keep it simple. We wanna talk about checking fuses, making sure you have power down there, but to be safe because any car that's within the past 20 years, you're gonna have a lot of electrical possibility damage if you back probe things while the car is running with the battery connected. Yeah, There's the a modules. lot of dangers in newer vehicles. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about how you can do it safely with just a test light yeah. and go from there. On this vehicle, we can access the AC compressor underneath the vehicle. We can see it right here. There's a lot of different connectors you can see one right here, and there's one above there. They're mostly pressure sensors. This one on this vehicle is called a flow sensor. And then there's another connector over here. Those are not the connectors we're looking for. We're looking for the one that is attached to where the clutch would be. So right next to the pulley, we can see a single wire on this vehicle. We're gonna disconnect that. So that is the connector that we want to see power going to when someone turns the AC on and pushes that button. There should be 12 volts there. Now I have Sue in the vehicle. She's going to start it up, toggle the AC button on and off, and I'm going to check for power at that connector. We have it disconnected. So go ahead, Sue, start it up. AC on. And with the AC on and off, we're not getting anything. There's no power at that connector, which there should be. All right, you can shut it down. If we had power at that connector, then we know the AC compressor is not working properly. So that entail would need a AC compressor, but that's not the case in this vehicle. And you can always get AC compressors at 1AAuto.com. And we also sell kits to save you time and money. All right, so now like Andy did, he checked the basic, making sure you have power at the compressor. Now, if it did have power down there, well, it would be easy, right? Mm -hmm. We would know the compressor is no good, yeah. and we'd go from there. But at this point, we have no power down there at that connector. So now you need to look up a diagram for your vehicle. You can go online usually and download that, and you want to just check and confirm going to the power boxes. Like this is the engine power box, fuse box. There are a couple inside, but on this one, the diagram is usually under the lid, and it tells you the location of the fuse and the relay. So you want to find the AC power fuse and the relay. Those are the two important things. So you're going to check for power at the fuse. If you have it, check power at the relay, and that means with the button going on and off. So if you can use a, some sort of a jump connector, something like this, they're really inexpensive. You can plug that into your fuse box and then put the relay on top. It also will tell you if the relay itself is any good, because then you can check for your powers in and out in your grounds and your switch toggling the power going from there to the switch. That's a quick way to find out if you need a relay, which is pretty common, or the actual circuit unit itself. The heater control unit. Yeah, the circuit board could be fried inside, you know, or even the wiring from that to yeah. the Always check fuses. for your local rooms yeah. and yeah. the restaurant Definitely. specialty, which is wiring. Yep. Um, if you have any thought of that, you'll see the residual are left behind, whether it's acorns or actual harnesses that are already yeah. starting to be chewed. Yeah, mouse nests and stuff like that. Correct. Those are big, big contenders to that. Yeah, could be. And one more thing, you don't want to forget about the high and low pressure sensors. 
They are the ones that send the signal to the control unit so that they can send power to the compressor. And if those aren't working right, then it's not gonna work at all. And check the wiring at those sensors, make sure everything looks good and they're plugged in and connected properly. And also, if you do feel like that could be the problem, they're pretty inexpensive. I would go ahead and change them out and then go from there. If it still doesn't work, then you gotta go deeper into the diagnosing. And it more than likely is gonna be a circuit board, meaning the whole head control, or it's gonna be a wiring issue. So that's inexpensive. Bypass, you know, go into it so that you don't have to bypass it or worry about it. It's very inexpensive.